Robert at Sushi Deep Views. March 25, 2018. I will relate the visions I received from God, contraception. I have a strong revelation to pass to the church, I had a vision this morning, I saw a parliament of deputies, it looked like a convention where plans for the world were being discussed, one of these men got up from the armchair and said, every couple must be limited to a child, the population must have that awareness, let's put in their minds that the more children they have, the more government spending there will be. Jesus told me that the government has developed contraceptive methods to prevent couples from having children, the female and male condom prevents the couple from having children, Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, and God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. This is God's will for the people to multiply, this contraceptive method that prevents the child from being born in the sexual act does not come from God, the plan of the rulers is to decrease the population leaving 20%, they want to kill 80% of people in the world, Satan's plan is evil and goes against the Bible, as God wants the population to increase, the government wants to decrease, other methods include the abortifacient that kills the fetus while in the womb, Women murderers will not inherit the kingdom of God unless they repent of sin, men who undergo vasectomy do not please God and are given over to hell, God overlooks your times of ignorance but if now you know the gravity of this sin, you cannot repent and ask for God's forgiveness, 1 Corinthians 3:17. If any man defiles the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. A woman cannot ligature her fallopian tubes in order not to have children, it is a sin, Genesis 9 to 1 And God blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, God wants multiplication and Satan wants a reduction, the government knows that God's desire is to multiply and create these methods to go against the word, if you are a Christian and hurt that word you are already in sin. Everything that prevents the birth of the child does not come from God, my wife and I do not use any pregnancy prevention method, we have a girl and so far no further children have been born, we prayed to God that he would not let a child be born during this difficult time, and God did not allow, because he is the God who closes and opens the mother's womb, God opened the wombs of Sarah and Anna, we do not need to use any methods to avoid children, man and woman do not make children. God is the one who forms the child in the womb, who formed Adam, man or God. Who breathed the spirit of life in Adam. It is God who breathes the spirit of life into the woman's womb and forms a child, it just needs the genetic material of man and a woman to form a life, it's like a baker who needs the ingredients to make bread, anything unsuitable for making the bread will spoil it if thrown into the dough. The same thing is the contraceptive that kills man's genetic material and disrupts the formation of life, God wants to form a life and you stop it, Jesus has revealed to me that this contraceptive poison falls into the womb and causes sterility and develops cancer in the uterine cavity, this was a revelation that God told me to deliver, children, I was in the church in the spirit as the people praised God. The voice of the Holy Spirit spoke to me saying that the children of Christians are being influenced to do wrong things through demonized children who induce the children of the church to sin, one of these children was about 10 years old, came to visit the church, the demon who used this child to divert the other children was manifested with a child demon, she was violent and almost the workers could not hold on, I threw that demon out, but to my surprise, it was a legion so three laborers could barely hold on to where the force came from, I went home and when I bent my knees, I had a vision of a legion of young demons, they were all in the body of that child and came to confront me, they were burning with hatred that I had expelled them from that child's body, they are very small, about a meter in height and other size of children from six to seven years, I cried to God, and an angel appeared and put all those demons to escape. A day later Jesus revealed to me this class of childish demons, they only work to destroy children, corrupt them with new ones, through games, toys, immoral websites, television, evil drawings, and bad companies, 
Children who fall into these traps do not inherit the kingdom of heaven, for the state of innocence has corrupted itself as Adam in Eden, who from the pure came impure and destitute, just as paradise lost its innocence about evil, so are the children, I tell parents to watch over and be careful whom their children are making friends with. A wicked friend can take a child to perdition and turn him into a bad person who may in the future cause destruction to other families, demon of heresies. Then I had another vision, I saw spirits of error dragging multitudes of souls through doctrinal heresies, once people enter into deception, they lose the strength to fight evil by being carried away by these doctrinal currents of hell, in the vision, I saw shepherds with pierced A's, and the servants of God tried to warn these shepherds, but they did not want to see the truth discrediting their false doctrines, preferring to follow their doctrines that lead to hell. I saw a class of demons who had the same function of entering people's bodies through false doctrine, I saw another class of demons entering the bodies of people through the anointing transfer of false prophets, another class enters the body of the people because of the language that causes division, Christians who partake of the scoffers wheels and talk about subjects that do not please God also receive these demons, they have Christians who think they have been saved and yet have not freed themselves, they are contaminated by sin and spiritually dead, they no longer feel the presence of the Holy Spirit, they have lost their love for God and treat sin as normal, not as an abomination, in the vision, I saw devils speaking of sects and false churches, one of them said, we are feeding their souls with our teachings, we have great religions that work in our favor, we are penetrating the churches through false doctrines, the shepherds spread our teaching by poisoning the body of Christ, we are entering very slowly into the true churches without them to perceive, churches that are close to the things of the world and forbid everything are already putting our words in the mouth of many without them knowing that they are already preaching our doctrine, our theology that has entered many churches in worship services teaches that nothing is a sin, we use our agent to preach our concepts of new doctrines, the shepherds are not watching and call our agents to preach, and the teachings of our agents are already being copied by serious pastors, and the church is nurturing our food, taking possession of the false teaching, we are responsible for varieties of doctrines that are being scattered throughout the churches, we are building a people based on the false doctrines that are already part of many churches, they are growing in our grace and in our knowledge, we are developing a new church far from what the apostles planned. Our teaching comes with darkness to blind the shepherd's understanding, there are few who preach the truth and there are many who preach falsehood, the true gospel is increasingly rare in churches, this is a victory, our word is reigning in the churches, and the true gospel is equal to hard gold to be found, we are contaminating the saints within the body of Christ, we invade their territories and we are gaining more and more space. The pulpits are already ours and we are sitting in the chairs of their altars of the churches, the internet is full of our preaching that is taken to the churches, every time they feed on our word, they feed on us because we are the false word, we are in the prophetic acts of the flesh, we are the theology of positive confession, we are the theology of prosperity, we are the theology of healing and the miracle without salvation, we are the theology of liberation, just as the man in white in his word produces life. Our word produces death, we are the truth mixed with a lie, we are spreading false prophecies, false revelations, false miracles, and false healings, and the people of the church do not know how to discern what is from their God and what is ours, they are unnoticed and we are causing confusion within the churches, we are having the false birth of those who become churches that prostitute themselves with Satan, this new spiritual birth is not from God but from the devil. One is not born again where the lie is preached or it hides the truth, this generation that is becoming the false gospel also has a false birth that comes from the darkness, Satan implanted his spiritual embryos within the churches to give birth to children in the deception of the false doctrine, you can be a good person, a good worker, a person who likes to evangelize and have a spiritual birth, but still not be in the true gospel. Jesus has shown me in the sight of multitudes of false disciples being produced by the world through false teachers, they trained young people and sent them to make cells in their homes, the number of these disciples is frightening. They had no notion that they were taught by the false shepherds.
they were deceived and taught in the false gospel that they spread within homes, they even hold meetings in their homes, but I say that you do not earn a soul for the kingdom of the heavens by teaching a liberal gospel without renunciation, the kind of demons I saw in the vision led to false doctrine for the church and with the time they come back to see how much the church has become corrupted, and several churches have already been contaminated, these demons were able to install the false gospel within these churches, they need legality to enter into the church system, when the church agrees with the doctrine of demons, there is a spiritual prostitution, from this prostitution, anyone who joins such a church will bear the fruit of her relationship with the world, it will be children of the prostitution of the church with the unborn devil of a prostitute bride who betrayed Jesus by diverting from his doctrine to follow that of the evil one, Jesus said, the gospel of truth within a polluted church is like a spiritual eye drop that heals a deceived people from blindness, I had a vision with the demons possessing the preachers on top of the pulpits, these demons are getting bolder every day, do you know why this is happening? Because the church lost its discernment and no longer see the evil that took the holy altar, formerly the altar was for the servants of God worthy to be there, today it is not like that anymore. The demons are working in the minds of many pastors to change the truth into a lie, I had a vision of a devil with an evangelical book in his hand, Jesus said the truth mixed with a lie is in that book and no one notices, a mixture of two types of water cannot flow out from a single source, neither can light be in communion with darkness, how can the truth mix with the lie together? For these devils everything is possible, good and evil are in alliance, these demons are intelligent. They know that they cannot destroy the truth and do away with the churches, Matthew 16 18 And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, Satan's plan is not war but union by making the church covenant with the world to weaken it, unite the lie with the truth to destroy sound doctrine, I had a vision of an evangelical book, and out of it came snakes when people opened it, they were pricked and the venomous snakes penetrated their souls, that's how a church is contaminated by false doctrine, these demons are implanting these seeds in people's hearts through false preaching, these seeds grow inside their hearts and become fruitless trees, inside the book, I saw snakes coming out, I saw darkness in the letters, the demons that came out of this book are deceitful spirits working within the church that carries their teachings, I saw the ability of a demon to operate signals, I had a vision of a church that lives praying, but they do not live the word and are liberal, I saw a Christian doing a prayer defying the demons, and inside that church, I saw a class of demons with turtle shell like coverings, their bodies were clothed with leathers, I have never seen these demons before, the prayers of those believers who are in sins beat the carapace of those demons and fell to the ground those shells resisted the prayers of that church, and those demons laughed and said that the church is already dominated, predatory demons, this class of demons went to another church, but this church is serious and the demons stayed outside, they were studying that church to destroy, I watched as they watched with hatred for that ministry, Jesus said these are the predatory demons of Christians, they are designed to bring down the great men of God and put them out of circulation, Without shepherds who preach the truth, the sheep are lost and scattered, not knowing what to do, these demons are lurking and ready to attack the sheep, their function is to destroy God's servants, they grow stronger with sin, the deeper they go into sin, the more power they have against those lives, when they enter into life, they dominate and take over the territory, imposing their influence on the lives of people who do not leave their sin, they manipulate rebellious Christians and destroy their lives. They have already captured millions of souls by bringing them to hell, destructive demons I had a vision with another class of demons, but they are fierce, they looked like crossbows, crocodile faces, and claws of tigers and snake venom, they are active and when they manifest within the church they break everything, they hate church so much that they take pleasure in destroying chairs, sound boxes, and musical instruments, they like to intimidate and threaten pastors. One of these demons manifested itself in a church where I was reporting my testimony, he wanted to disrupt the service so people would not listen and convert, I had to immobilize him spiritually so as not to hurt people and expelled him, 
Mark 5 to 1 5 And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadans, and when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him, and always, night and day, he was in the mountains, and in the tombs, crying, and cutting himself with stones, secretive demons, I had another vision with another class of demons, these are very meek and did not act like beasts. But they are more dangerous with a great destructive force, they do not like to speak out inside the church so everyone thinks everything's okay, they prefer to act in secret without anyone realizing, they do not like to appear or reveal their plans, they go into the churches and study how to make the shepherds fall. The target of these demons is the strongest, the carnal ones are already fallen and they fight against the spiritual ones, another class of demons I've seen are pretty strong, they had a slimy layer on their bodies, they are possessed of bodies and resistant, they do not leave the bodies of easy people because of sin, sin feeds them and they do not like to manifest themselves either, and many Christians are possessed with these demons. The fact that they do not manifest themselves in believers does not mean that they are freed, maybe you who hear me may be possessed by one of these demons and do not know why he never manifested, if you make amends with God and live a life of prayer he goes out of your life. These demons look like chewing gum and they do not like to leave their dwelling, one of these was manifested in my ministry and he did not want to leave the life of an elder who was visiting me, I cast that demon who fought not to leave and what the devil said when he manifested in that elder was shocking, the demon said, this is a victory for us, we have long struggled against the gospel, for centuries we have been trying to change the gospel on the face of the earth, the few men who still preach this gospel, it is a matter of time before they fall, we will corrupt the rest and we will win this war, our darkness is invading churches that used to be the light, hidden sins demons, I saw devils of hidden sins that suck the forces of those who do not want to renounce the world, I saw a variety of demons of various shapes, sizes, and hybrids, half man and half animal, others looked like giant insects. These demons control people's souls through feelings, I had a vision of them owning half the church, these demons are so bold that they did not manifest and attended the services normally. They live inside people's bodies and do not leave even if they are going to church every day, they do not manifest in any church, they manifest themselves only in churches that have the mark of truth and the seal of the Holy Spirit, the demons manifested with the presence of Jesus, through the anointing that emanated from Jesus, but in a praying holy church, such demons cannot resist and hide and have to leave, not all churches have authority from God to deal with this class of demons. There are few churches that live the truth that is why these signs do not happen, these days we are witnessing a variety of weak churches with no anointing to cast out the demons, churches that do not sanctify themselves and yet they cast out devils. This is a lie, black hearts demons suicide, and when I prayed the nine o'clock prayer, I had a vision with a demon distributing black hearts to the people inside a liberal church, just as God gives a heart of flesh and pure. The devil also gives, that vision means that the hearts of those people are corrupting themselves, I also saw demons of suicide making believers kill themselves, these demons of madness made many believers get depressed and take medicine, God abhors that one takes away the life of the neighbor, and feels disgusted with him who takes his own life, for he is a murderer of himself, and takes away the gift of life that is precious deceived deliverance ministers, it is only a satanic tactic to make believe that everyone has authority, many pastors think they do not have to renounce the world to conduct deliverance and exorcism sessions, there are pastors who think they have authority without living a holy life, they are playing with the spirit world, they are not wanting to renounce their sins and yet they are wanting to free people without being delivered themselves. When they die all those demons that they thought they have cast out they will see them waiting to carry their souls to hell, if one of those demons can cause self-destruction inside a church that is not watchful and prayerful, imagine what a legion of them can do, do not play the game of being a Christian, be true.
Today is the time to truly convert, forget the brethren who do not live the gospel and live the word. Do your part, because they do not live. Do you want to imitate their false works? Be the light of your church and make a difference because many will be released through your life. Take on all the evidence without complaining and go over the obstacles. There is no legion to stop its work, to fight against the forces of evil, to expose falsehood among the people with the word. Pastors feed the people with the truth, no soul wants to go to hell and everyone wants to be saved. Pastors do not copy false teachings from devouring wolves, open your spiritual ears to hear what the Spirit says to the church, the gospel of truth builds a spiritual mind, the mind of Christ, and even prepares the flock against the false gospel, truth cleanses the flock of sin to prepare them for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, empower the people with the heavenly anointing strengthening the flock and preparing as soldiers of war, the gospel of truth heals the wounds of the soul, washing inside and out, the gospel wears the people of armor and prevents them from coming to die spiritually, if the carnal Christian does not put on the armor of God, he will have no chance against the demons, raptured Christians demons I kept praying without ceasing, Jesus showed me in a vision a small part of hell that was inaugurated for all who have experienced snatching away to heaven and hell and yet chose to backslide, I was not raptured, but Jesus showed me a place of hell in a vision, I saw in another vision an army of demons ascending to the earth, their goals are to fight the lives of those who have been raptured and are witnessing on earth to win souls. Jesus said some who had rapture and snatching away experiences have already sold themselves for the money and become corrupted, Satan's strategy is working, I have a warning from God to those who have been raptured, if they deviate the sword of Jehovah will descend, once Jesus has revealed the mysteries of the spiritual world, you will not be considered innocent anymore, the more you are given, the more it is demanded of you. The place of hell that is reserved for those who have had rapture experiences is ready to welcome its new residents, only the soldiers of heaven who do not give up their salvation have won the war, darts throwing demons I had a vision of the demons throwing darts in the minds of many Christians, months later I was persecuted by them, they rose up against me, I fought for their salvation, but I was pursued by them, my wife is going to report how a demon was able to confuse her. Robert traveled to Africa, arrived sick and with yellow fever, he could not go to church as he was sick and resting in bed, I dreamed of him walking in the green field with Jesus and something said that he would die, I did not tell him, because I did not want to upset him, but it was Satan who put it in my heart not to mention the dream, until I had the courage and with tears in my eyes I told him of the dream, Robert said, Satan threw a dream dart in your mind, I will not die. He was right, I was so worried about him that I forgot to pray and the devil had access to my mind, when a vessel in the family is weak, the devil finds a crack and brings trouble, my family is established in Christ starting from my father to me, this did not happen to my great grandparents who were disturbed and committed suicide, my great grandfather Hideki Atsushi hanged himself, he followed the Shinto religion. My great-grandmother Sayuri Atsushi could not stand being without her husband, Hideki took several medicines to kill herself, she followed the Buddhist religion, my grandmother Yumi Atsushi left Japan and moved to the United States and won the soul of her husband Takashi Atsushi, my grandfather, they raised my father Kenzo Atsushi in the church, the Atsushi family began to be God-fearing, but it was through my father that the family life changed. My grandparents did not strive to be as thorough as my father, preparing a church, the time for sanctification requires a lot of work and a life of depth with God, they put on the armor of God, lest they are defiled with the arrows of sin, demons defiling churches Jesus told me, the devil does not bother to take the believer out of the church but takes sin into the church to defile all, many have lost the reverence of that which is holy. They have defiled the house of prayer with feigned adorations and filthy praises, I do not receive their impure sacrifices which lead to the altar, I do not hear their prayers, PSA 66 hours 18 minutes if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me, they have no love for the souls that will visit them, they do not gain the ungodly souls that enter their churches, these visiting souls are disappointed by the lack of love and do not come back to visit anymore. 
Those who say I am a Christian are misguided, they deceive themselves into believing that the departed are those who leave the churches, affliction to salvation I when 